Have you ever faced those insane enemy waves in Helldivers 2 and thought to yourself that there must be a better way? Well, welcome to the video where today I'm going to be telling you that the Breaker Spray and Pray is that way and it is the ultimate weapon in Helldivers 2. And I'm also going to be giving you five tips on how to optimize its potential and transform your Helldivers 2 strategy. Be sure to stick around for the whole video so you don't miss the last two tips. They're definitely the most important. Last week, Arrowhead Studios came out with an update that introduced weapon balancing into the game and later came out with a statement saying that they want players to focus their stratagems on the heavier enemy types while using your primary and secondary gun slots to focus on the smaller enemy types that come in big waves. And that's where the Breaker Spray and Pray absolutely shines in Helldivers 2. In the weapon balancing update, some of our favorite guns got nerfed. However, the Breaker Spray and Pray actually received a buff. It got an increase to its rate of fire, it also got an increase to armor penetration, and maybe the most important of all, it got an increase to the amount of pellets per bullet fired. Adding to that different element, where when you shoot the gun, you're going to be hitting more enemies. So now I'm going to be giving you 5 tips on how to optimize this weapon in Helldivers 2. And the first tip to optimize this weapon can apply to any weapon in the game, and that's to manage your bullets. With the Breaker Spray and Pray, you have 26 bullets per magazine, and you have 8 magazines, giving you 208 bullets to work with. So use your bullets to kill the smaller enemy types, as opposed to shooting at the bigger enemy types, where it's going to take more bullets to kill. If you run into a medium enemy type, like a Nest Defender, don't shoot it in the head where it's going to take longer to kill it. Opt to go for a position on it like it's side or back, where it won't take as many bullets to kill. This may be one of the most important tips because bullets go quick with the breaker spray and pray and when you're running with a full team of four, resupplies are going to run thin. Tip number two is going to be to know when to use this weapon in first person mode and third person mode. In Helldivers 2, I personally always love to use weapons in third person mode because I like seeing more of what's in front of me, but with this weapon, the recoil control is much better in first person mode. You're going to want to use first person mode whenever you have one of those small squadrons that are all grouped together because you'll have better recoil control when firing at them. But use the weapon in third person mode whenever you've got a huge swarm on you and you need to know what all is around you. It also doesn't hurt to crouch when firing if you have a good amount of distance between you and the enemies. This tip will also help you optimize your ammo management. And it's a tip I don't see enough people using because this gun is optimal in first person and third person mode. So moving on to tip number three, this one's gonna be for my old breaker shotgun fans that got nerfed, and it's to use the gun in semi-automatic mode. By putting it in semi-automatic mode, you essentially get the exact same feel back that you lost whenever they nerfed the breaker shotgun. Personally, however, I run it in both automatic and semi-automatic depending on what is in front of me. If there's a big swarm in front of me and they're all surrounding me, I'll throw it in automatic and just start spraying the gun. However, if there's like a small enemy group in front of me, then I'll put it in semi-automatic just to help manage my ammo. So on a side note, I actually started using this gun about two days ago and I've seen people post about it since. I've not seen them post about the semi-automatic mode I might be wrong, but man, it really is a game changer. So if you did like the breaker shotgun that got nerfed, be sure to try this gun in semi-automatic mode. It doesn't quite hit as hard, but that's also because you have an increased magazine size, but the feeling is still there. All right, guys, before we move on to tip number four, I do ask that if you've enjoyed the content so far or you find any of it useful, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with future Helldivers 2 content, tips, tricks, guides, tutorials, whatnot. So if you want to keep up with the latest news on Helldivers 2, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's move on to tip number 4. Tip number 4 is going to be to run this weapon with a light armor type. So most of the explanation for why we're going to run a light armor with this weapon is going to be explained in tip number 5. However, light armor in my opinion is still king, it will always be king, unless they ever change it. But light armor, you're going to be able to get away from these big crowds if your breaker spray and pray just doesn't do it, if there's just too many enemies. So moving on to tip number five, I'm going to be talking about knowing the weapon's weaknesses. This weapon's weakness is that it will not be effective against the heavier enemies, but that's okay. We're running it to clear ads. You're going to want to pair this gun with heavy stratagems, such as the orbital laser, the orbital rail cannon, eagle rocket pods, 
even a 500 kilogram nuke. You don't want to use your stratagem slots for ad clearing stratagems. You want to use them for your heavy stratagems to take out the bigger enemies because this gun will be effective against the big ads, but it's not going to be effective against a bile titan, for example. So be sure to pair it with heavy stratagems. This is also why we run a light armor type with this build because we're not going to have those ad clearing stratagems anymore. We're going to be focusing our stratagems on the bigger enemies. And this build is super effective in late game when you're going to see a lot of bio titans, a lot of tanks, a lot of hulks, etc. An additional note for tip number five is it's paired very well with the flamethrower if you're going to go up against the terminids. I actually made a short about this so I'll attach it to the video but the flamethrower excels at ad clearing as well but it's also very good against those medium sized enemies such as nest defenders, bile spewers, and it can even handle the charger if you hit it in the right spot. For the automatons, I'd probably lean the grenade launcher. I think you have plenty of options for the automaton, but I do think that the grenade launcher is underrated, and I plan on coming out with something about that soon, but that's my pick for the automatons. Overall, when you're using the breaker spray and pray, you need to make sure that you have a good support weapon to go with it, one that can handle those medium-sized enemy types. That's pretty much all I got planned for the video guys. If you did find the information useful or if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future Helldivers 2 content. I got a video plan to come out next week about which armor pieces are best to use in Helldivers 2. So be sure not to miss out on that. If you want to know when it's coming out, check out the community post I uploaded yesterday. Thanks for clicking on the video guys. Peace out.